morning. Welcome to McDonald's. Order whenever you're ready. Yeah, can I get a large caramel iced coffee, please? Okay. And that's it. Alrighty, that'll be 247. It's your first window, please. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh yeah! Alright. <laughs> All right, I got the coffee coursing through my vein, feeling like a mean machine. I'm keen. I'm ready to go. I'm also a little bit emotional today, and I'll tell you why, because I'm going to meet a couple of good friends. I haven't seen them for a few months, and the reason being is that their house completely burned down. Now, we're in California here just northeast of Fresno a bit up in the Sierra Nevada mountains, the largest fire in California's history, still burning, not completely contained. It's been going since Labor Day, September, October, we're into November now, still burning. Now what's special about Bob and Dorinda, among many things, is that they lived in the remaining, last, final, only railroad station, which stood on the line of the San Joaquin and Eastern Railroad. The station was super awesome. They've invited me many times up there to visit. We would hang out, enjoy each other's company around the campfire, out off the grid in the middle of almost nowhere. And it was really quite a serene environment, a very special place. And I was, I was honored to have been invited to come there whenever I wanted. Well, the Creek Fire hit and just ravaged the area, wiped through everything. They came back to find nothing. Now they're in the midst of cleanup right now, but they're staying out at their sister's place. So what I'm doing is I'm about to drive out to a place called Humphrey Station. And that's off of, uh, I believe, Sample and Lodge Road area, about whatever, 20 miles or so outside of the greater Fresno area at the foothills of the Sierras. From there, I'm going to follow them to this secret undisclosed location which happens to be a 3,500 acre cattle ranch. Working cattle, horses, the whole deal. All right, enough talking, I know. Let's get out there and hit the road. Kidding me? Look at this place. <laughs> awesome. That is super cool. See, that's the thing about being in a van when you're just out traveling. You never know what you're gonna run across. 
come across something like this. Super cool. I would have never come out here otherwise. What do I have to do out here? Nothing. Wildflower Trail to the right, and it looks like at the stop, that's the way I'm going. Oh, we got Humphrey Station right ahead, just off to the right here. Oh, cool. Bob and Dorinda are already waiting. Hey, neighbor. Over the cattle grading and off into the wild wilderness of cattle ranching. <laughs> That's a good little road here. far back we're going. Well, well guess that answers that. <laughs> well, look at this little cabin. The logging company of California, Fresno. <laughs> Amazing. I think you texted me saying, oh, this, 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 is, our new home. this is our new home. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. yeah, I remember so this is the new home. <laughs> Bought it for a dollar. What a cool spot. I always love finding places like this. Living bits of history. Watch your step around here. <laughs> yeah, well, man, imagine living back 100 years ago in this thing. Cool little logging shack there, and we're moving along. This cattle ranch is 3,500 acres. Uh, Dorinda was saying that uh, it's owned by her brother-in-law and that his grandfather, I believe it was, started buying land up here in the 1900s, early 1900s, 40 acres at a time. And I asked, you know, how does somebody acquire 3,500 acres? And Bob in true Bob fashion says 40 acres at a time. That's what we got here. I'm going back into it here. They say there's all sorts of different wild animals out here. I'm sure you get the coyote, mountain lions, they said mountain lions. Uh, I've seen blue jays since I've been out here. Uh, she said you see road runners. Um, of course, there's cow pies everywhere around here. 
not only when you're walking around, but when you're driving, you gotta keep your eye out or you're gonna have a mess to clean up afterward. acres. What does that look like, you ask? Well, here it is, about as far as the eye can see. Well, I know it was a quick visit, and we didn't get to see any cows or horses for that matter. Met a couple of nice, friendly dogs out there. But really, I just wanted to reconnect with my friends, see how they're doing, see where they are now. They welcomed me to come back, so maybe we can explore a little bit more in the future. And I did promise my parents that I would make them dinner tonight. One of the perks of them having me nearby is that I like to cook them dinner. So the sun's starting to head down on the horizon, and I thought it was about time to get back into town. Okie dokie. It's always great to reconnect with friends you haven't seen for a while. When I asked if they were going to rebuild, they said no. They said that they could never replace what they had up there. It was a one-of-a-kind, unique, and very special place. They said that they took it as a sign that it was time to start a new chapter in life. Time to move on and create something new. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to start a new chapter. And maybe that's what you're trying to do. And if it is, I sincerely wish you all the best. <laughs>